Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have wanted to see for a very long time. So I'm going to do that today. It is half drugstore, half high-end makeup and like the dupes of each. Um, so the left half of my face is going to be a drugstore and the right half of my face is all going to be high-end. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload at least four videos a week. It's a pretty good time around here, so be sure to subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so um, first, I'm gonna apply everything like how I normally would, not gonna treat anything different because it's drugstore or high-end, you know the drill. Um, so on the left half of my face, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation, and then on the right half, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. Here we go. Drugstore side going on right now. I'm just applying it with a dampened beauty blender. This is like my favorite way to apply foundation. Another way that I like is when I use a stippling brush and then I blend it in with some, um, with a beauty blender. I like that as well. I love this foundation just because it's so natural looking. And then on the right side, I'm using the Urban Decay One and Done. This might be completely the wrong color in the other side of my face, so we shall see. It's pretty close. This one isn't a foundation per se. Um, it's more of a like tinted moisturizer on steroids. And this is like my everyday makeup routine that I'm showing you guys. So this is like seriously the makeup that I do every single time I come up here and do my makeup and I'm leaving the house and this is what I do. All right, so color is a little bit off. This side's darker, but it's... We're just gonna work with it. Um, we are doing the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind versus the Tarte Shape Tape. Medium is pretty light, which is why I'm using it. It's not like dark, you know what I mean? So yeah, undertones, like it's, it's gonna be different. I can't make it perfect, so we're just gonna have to roll with that. It's gonna end up looking pretty much the same. You're just gonna have to excuse some undertones here. The thing that I love about the Tarte Shape Tape is that it doesn't crease on me. Like I could literally just, I couldn't, I could go without powder and it would be fine. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the La Mercier Translucent Powder on my high-end side and then the Rimmel Stay Matte on my drugstore side. I stopped using this powder when I got the RCMA No Color Powder because I like that one way more for baking, but I'm not baking today. And then I just use this brush to set smaller areas of my face too. I kind of just like lightly go over everything with this brush. So that's Laura. Laura over there. See how matte she gets me? She's pretty matte. Um, the Laura Mercier feels much more matte on the skin. The Rimmel Stay Matte, it kind of leaves your concealer and foundation feeling a little tacky and a little dewy still, which I don't like the feeling of. The Laura one just feels much more set and like silk and like skin. And this one you can still kind of feel the makeup. Let's move on to bronzer. You guys already know that I'm gonna be using Hoola. Look how like much tanner my face is than my body. I'm getting a spray tan tonight. Um, Hoola by Benefit, and then this is NYC Sunny Bronzer. They're literally dupes of each other, so I'm excited to put them side by side so you guys can really see. I'm first gonna do Hoola. And before I finish up with Hoola. I'm just going to take it on a MAC 224 and I'm just going to throw it in my crease of my eye and then also on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take NYC Sunny Bronzer. Woo! There she is. Ooh, girl. I'm just doing the same thing though with the bronzer, throwing that in my crease. Um, I'm excluding brushes from this because regardless of drugstore products or not, I'd be using these brushes. So 
I'm not gonna give them a lesser chance because they are with drugstore brushes. I don't know, drugstore's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, this is where it could go to absolute madness right here. So my favorite highlighter ever is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight, and I don't have a shade at all like this drugstore, so I pulled out a palette. This is the uh, CoverGirl True Naked Goldens. I'm gonna use this shade mixed with a little bit of this shade to get a shade similar to this. I'm first gonna go with Laura Geller. So if you're not very impressed by my highlight, it's because we like different glow levels. Let me live. Oh, she's pretty. All right, so that turned out pretty good. That wasn't bad. I was a little nervous. All right, let's do blush. Again, I couldn't find an exact dupe of one another color-wise, so I just picked something that was similar. So this is the NYX Baked Blush in the shade Statement Red. And then I picked up the Becca Snapdragon Blush. So, I mean, they're obviously different colors, but I'm gonna try my best to make them look similar. All right, first we're gonna put on Becca Snapdragon. I have a very light hand with blush. I'm not a big blush person. So, I mean, it might, you might be kind of disappointed by my swatches for blush. I'm really just not a big blush person. Okay, Becca Snapdragon, it's on there. I'm already gonna blend her out because she's stuck me out a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna go with the NYX blush. And I'm using a NYX blush brush. I've been loving this brush lately. Let's move back up to the eyes. I'm gonna take my highlighters that I used and I put them on with my finger. So I'm gonna take Laura Geller on my ring finger and pop that right onto my lid. And then I go back in with the 224 that had the bronzer on it and I just blend that out in the crease. Then I'm gonna take my middle finger and mix the two highlight shades that I put on my lid. I mean, sorry, on my cheekbone. And put that on my lid. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So on my high end side, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Taupe. I've been loving this lately. Remember when I like hated the brow definer? I just think it's so easy to do brows quickly. All right, then on the other side, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This is in the shade Light. Okay, so this side's a little bit darker than this side, which is surprising actually because I did not think that it would be. Um, I'm just gonna brush through it with a spoolie to blend it all out. I mean, I still like this eyebrow kit. I think it's a really good starting kit, but I mean, I'm so picky with my eyebrows that I would rather invest in my eyebrows, but it's still, like it turned out looking really good. All right, um, for eyeliner on the bottom for the, um, Drugstore side, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. And for the high-end side, I'm gonna use the M Cosmetics. This isn't technically high-end, but I do remember that this had a pricier price point, which is why I'm using it as a high-end side. And then um, for my upper lash line, I always like to put shadow on. So for the high-end side, I'm gonna take the MAC Shadow in the shade Smut. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going to take NYX Raven. And I just smoke out the outer half. A little bit on the I do have to say, I like the NYX shadow much better than the MAC one. I'm just going to stick to mascara so you guys can see the difference. Um, I think that's a little bit more fair. So on the right side, I'm gonna use the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. You guys know I love my Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I'm using this one every day and I really like it. And then also on the drug free side, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. I'm gonna switch mascaras because that one was dried out. So this is L'Oreal Telescopic. 
I just threw on some lashes um, on both eyes because I only use drugstore lashes. These are Ardell Wispies and they are my favorite lashes to ever walk on this earth. Okay, lip gloss because all I ever wear is lip gloss. I don't wear anything. Oh, this is gonna dry down, so don't worry about don't worry about that. Okay, so for lip gloss, um, this side I'm gonna use the Kylie So Cute, and this side I'm gonna use Revlon Peach Petal. They're gonna be different, but we're gonna work with it. All right, let me fix up my hair and I'll be right back. The difference between my face and my neck is like unreal. So yeah, that is the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I promise my face and my body aren't really that different of a color. It just really looks like that on camera for whatever reason. And it's kind of making me a little upset right now because it doesn't really look like that. Like my body is like tan, my chest just doesn't ever pick up color. Ignore that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you appreciate it, give it a thumbs up. You guys are already know the drill. Comment down below your favorite drugstore product because I want to know. If you guys want to see my drugstore starter kit, that's right uh, here. I can't point. It's right here. And then my um, last video is right here. Check both of those out. Love you guys so much. Talk to you in my next one. Bye.